seem to work on a lot of gas-powered motors, you know, the little engines, little motors. Uh, quite a bit. I kind of collect them. You know, if you just look at my property, John Deere, and there's a cadet, and then there's mowers, push mowers, and push mowers, and and uh, just just oodles of stuff. And then this here is a Harbor Freight Special, okay? And you don't you don't um, you don't want to spend a lot of money on their stuff because uh, the life expectancy is about a year, almost everything if if you're lucky. Depends on how hard you use it. Well, this one here we did use quite a bit last year. We uh, dug holes for our greenhouse. And this year I wanted to dig holes for my uh, equipment shed, but um, it won't start. And we put fresh gas in it and uh, won't run. So the first thing I did was looked at the hoses because quite often the hoses, you know, they just, with the gas we use nowadays, uh, these hoses are not made to last. And that's a great way to sell a second or a third <laughs> And uh, the filter looks dirty. Uh, obviously, uh, I'll have to get, a matter of fact, I've already ordered a filter, and I ordered the hoses, and I ordered, you know, it's going to come with a bunch of good parts. But I decided to take the carburetor off and take a good look at it. And I want to show you something. This is interesting. I don't know that you can see that real good down in there. Let's see. Well so much for that down in there right here oops I'm trying to get that out of the way I know everything's going to fall and hit the floor that's the way it works with me all right I'm going to turn it a little bit more there we go now now you can see this screw right here watch uh oh I gotta find it again all right, there it is. Do you see it moving back and forth? Now that's the carburation. I'm going to take the carburetor, uh, at least the front end off, and it, what it does is the screws go into this manifold. And I'm going to take these off so I can get this carburetor off and clean it a little bit, see what I can do. And I understand that they're not, you know, they're not made of gold. You can buy another one. But when I saw this movement there, and I realized that that is probably sucking air. It's probably not uh, sucking the gas like it should. The hoses seem to be good. Uh, I cleaned the spark plug. And... Uh, I haven't checked spark, but I'm assuming that I have spark. But when I seen that, I'm going, okay, so they didn't tighten it good enough or something else has happened. So that's that's my story to this point. And when I learn more, we'll, uh, we'll let you know. Okay, I got the carburetor off. And what I'm seeing... Try to set this up so there. This this bolt here has a, a Loctite on it. Now it's the type that is not a fixed, really really hard. It's kind of a medium, or you know it, you can screw it out, but it does take some work. And what I'm recommending that if you're working on something that when you start taking that bolt out, it feels like it's tight all the way, then uh, unscrew it. And then screw it back in a little bit and just work it in and out and in and out all the way until you get it completely out. And what, whoops, sorry. Whew. This, okay, I give up. I'm going to hold it like this. All right, what I, what I wanted to show you is that uh, there was Loctite on this screw. And Loctite um, has different levels. And this is not the, the strongest level. This is one that they expect to be able to take the carburetor off and replace it because they know that the ports and the you know are very very small, and uh, chances are that people will put a little bit of dirt 
uh, gasoline in there, the wrong, you know, like uh, uh, gasoline with ethanol, which which will uh, uh, not last more than, I don't know, 30, 40 days until it starts turning. It will last longer, but it's already breaking down is what they're saying. Well, this Loctite uh, is a type that uh, you've got to work it in and out, in and out, until you get it completely out, okay? And that way you're not uh, damaging the threads inside um, this manifold or any whatever you're pulling the bolts out of. Now, also you'll notice that there's a little... Uh, there's a little... Uh, it, it's like a shoulder on that screw because you'll see threads back here right back there and then you th see threads here but there's this this high point this this is a shoulder and what it is I'm thinking is that it's some sort of uh, sealant that they put on there and to help um, uh, seal from exhaust leaks uh, it does have a gasket to go on there but it's smart that they they did that because then it'll help seal uh, around that bolt now now we're at a point where we can see that this screw right there is loose I put a uh, Allen in there and the Allen wrench is as soon as I can get the gauge up here looks to be a four four millimeters so um, as you can see it's pretty loose I will tighten up both of these and they vibrate out now remember what I said about these bolts about Loctite so what I might do Knowing that it's leak, that it's loosening up, and I do have some Loctite. I don't know if I can get that out of there easily, but I'm going to take those screws out and put a little um, medium uh, Loctite on there. Now, there are brands of Loctite, and then there's other brands that companies have made to simulate a Loctite brand. I really don't see... Let's see if I can get it into the... There we go. I really don't see a lot of Loctite on that. And it could be because it's directly um, located on the motor. And unless it's a real high temp, you, you understand, if it's high temp, it could probably hold, but if it's not high temp, it wouldn't make a whole lot of difference. So you'd have to have some um, special um, lock. Whoops, sorry. You have to have some special Loctite on there. I'm going to put this back in and just tighten it down. It does have a little washer on there. It doesn't look like it's a. Oh yeah, there's one. Yeah, it's got a lock washer. I'm going to tighten it down and see if, uh, if we can get that thing tightened up right. Don't know that it'll make it run, but it is the right thing to do. So I've uh, taken the carburetor apart. The diaphragm actually looks good. Uh, what I've decided to do is go to town and see if I can't get into uh, uh, the primer. Uh, a little primer there, a filter, and a bunch of new hose. And uh, go with that, and then see how things go. Because I was getting uh, air every time I was pu uh, pumping the primer, I was getting air. And then um, I blew through the primer. Uh, I had to stick it in my mouth. That was just wonderful. And then I blew right through it, you know, and uh, I could feel the air. So it's got a hole. I'm, I'm assuming that where the hole's at is right smack dab in the center. There's a little, uh, I guess that's where they 
uh, formed it, but uh, there is air coming right out the center there. So, um, got to go to town see if I can find something. And don't know that that'll get it running, but we're going to try. Okay, long story short, went to True Value. I was able to buy a gas line filter that goes in the tank. I was able to buy uh, a variety pack of these little primers. And then uh, they, did, they were completely out of the hose. And so I went to Automotive. Now Automotive is a little different diameter. You can see how much bigger that is uh, compared to, let's see if I can find the other one, this one. So there's quite a bit of difference, but the inside diameter is the same. It's the outside diameter. is much thicker walled. Not a bad deal, but when you're trying to get it through the grommet here for the tank, it is very difficult. What I did here on this one, as I, I cut it on an angle, made a, a taper, and then I pushed it through and pulled it through. Uh, and that's on the return line. The bottom line is the, uh, the filter. I kept the one for the filter. I could not find any leaks in it. So I determined that uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it yet. I do have um, extra hose. Already cut the length, and I can uh, put that on there. Uh, if if I do end up having a problem and you can see that there's not a lot of gas in there so I'm going to fill up the gas and then um, you know I can uh, I can drill some holes I am really excited about that and uh, I did take the carburetor completely off check the diaphragm it was good the o-rings and whatnot everything seemed to be good other than the main problem was what I saw was a leak in the primer and also these bolts going into the manifold which goes into the uh, the motor itself the exhaust system or the intake system excuse me uh, those were loose totally loose and I kind of think that's why it wouldn't start it couldn't get the fuel in right now it seems to be okay anyhow long story short yeah always short with me huh so, Predator, uh, auger from Harbor Freight, you can get parts for it. I did find a link to a um, parts list. I did not call, I did not order that, but uh, just suffice to say that there is universal parts that will fit on this on Amazon. And uh, if you look, if you put in either Earthquake Auger or put in Predator, Auger, one of the two, you should be able to find some parts. Okay, uh, interesting day, got it running, I'm real happy about that. Talk to you later.